All right. So students were asked to talk about the embryological basis for what serenomalia, all right? And serenomalia is more of like the child, the, the lower limbs are kind of like fused, okay? So as they are fused, the child is looking like a mermaid, okay? It usually occurs with some other accompanying anomalies, right? So serenomalia, we'll talk about it, all right? Let's define it. We see that sirenomalia is also known as well, mammoth syndrome. It is a rare congenital disorder characterized by fusion of the lower limbs, often with other anomalies, right? So the lower limbs are fused. The lower left limb, the lower right limbs, all of them are fused, right? Giving you a single tail-like stuff, right? Like a mammoth, okay? So we said that what their embryological basis is like you trying to look at some abnormalities that occurred when this child was growing up all right so embryological basis we have four embryological bases here what we'll discuss the four of them then i'll now tell you the two ones that you can actually work with one of the bases could be that there was an abnormal development of the caudal region during embryo em, during embryogenesis that's during development Okay, so abnormal development of the caudal region during embryogenesis, all right? That's within the third to the fourth week. The second one could be what? Disturbance in the formation of clocker, all right? Which is a shared endodermal cavity for reproduction, urinary, and digestive systems, right? Okay, we have three reasons here, all right? Then the third one is a failure of normal regression of the embryonic tail. So the reasons I want you guys to work with is the first one and second, all right? The first one and second, they kind of like give me much more comprehensive talks about the possible occurrence of the serenomalia, all right? So I think that's it for the embryological basis for serenomalia.